for the sign of Capricorn, hello and welcome to my channel. So Capricorns, what I'm getting, what I'm picking up the energy is for this reading, is that you could be dealing with someone that has mixed feelings about a situation, a person, people, maybe it's maybe something that they uh, thing that they have mixed feelings about. Person, situation, thing, or things. And um, this could be you, or it could be someone coming towards you like this, or it could be the person you're dealing with. They have mixed feelings. Yeah, they're unsure. Or you are unsure. So, let's see where this is coming from. Let's take a look and get into the reading. Now, for the present time, we got the Five of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Swords is showing in the picture. You see this man, he's running around with two swords in his hand. And he's got three more on the, on the ground to pick them up and use them if he has to, if he have to. Um, yeah, he's running around ready to just chop off anybody that comes his way. It's about yeah, having some mixed feelings, and it could be about a few people in particular. But don't ignore these feelings, but make sure you don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. Because this could ruin the very thing that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and, and your lover. So you have to think several times before you really let someone have it even if you know they deserve it. So it's about making sure you pick your battles. Now this Five of Swords is with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is about success in money matters because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, uh, Pentacles means coins, cash, finance, income. Now when this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick now is really the time to follow the established way of doing things. When it does stand for actual person in your life, it refers to a very masculine type. You could have hair and eyes on the dark, darker end of the spectrum. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can believe in and trust. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. So, we got the Five of Swords and the King of Pentacles for your present time. Now, what these two cards are basically saying, paired together, is that um, yeah, you could be in a violent situation, could be abusive. in some situation where there's conflict. Maybe a lot of fighting and arguing. Or you just, like I said before, or you just got mixed feelings about something or someone. Because it was the King of Pentacles, which is a, it's a very stable type a good father, very um, um, very focused type, the King of Pentacles. Good father, very stable, secure and committed. They're not afraid of commitment. Now, I don't know if this person that I'm explaining as the King of Pentacles is the person that you have mixed feelings about or you could have wanted to have success with someone like this and now you you're, you're having conflict with this person and 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 mixed feelings but we need to clarify these two cards so let's take a look at how they see you for now and we'll come back to those two the person that you're dealing with, 
They see that the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords is about holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation or maybe for no reason at all. Yeah, could be for no reason at all. See how this man, he's got all these swords surrounding him and there's a fire behind him. It looks like he could be coming towards him and he's just, he's just standing there with, blind, with a blindfold on over his eyes. He could easily get out of there but he's just kind of stuck in his head. So, you need to think through what it is you're afraid of because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So, this is how your person sees you. They think you're stuck in your head about them. Yeah, they could, they could be thinking you're trying to reevaluate this connection. They could be thinking that you think that they're bad for you. Yeah, and you're just stuck in your head. Now, they also see you like the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, it points to someone who could be behaving with less than ethical intentions. It could sometimes mean prying into someone's life where you really don't belong. And if you sense that someone is spying on you, then you're probably right. And if you are tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you might want to resist the impulse because everyone deserves privacy. And this is how your person sees you. They could they could see you in a, in a few ways, different ways with the Seven of Swords. They could think that you play games, you're, you're manipulative and strategic. Or they could see you as um, you stalk them and you do a lot of prying in on them. And maybe it's because you don't trust this connection or trust them. But they, they, see, they think you watch them. And uh, yeah, like when they, maybe they go to the, when they sleep, maybe you check their phone or when they're not looking, you do things that, uh, um, that they probably wouldn't like, like just trying to figure out what's going on with them in a, <laughs> in a Seven of Swords type of way, stalking, spying, and prying. You do it like that, whereas they probably don't appreciate it. Yeah, it's strategy, it's games, or it could be manipulation. That's how they see you. They think you watch them in a sneaky way. Probably probably because they, you, they think you don't trust them, or maybe you don't trust them, and you're stuck in your head. They see you stuck in your head about them. Yeah. Yeah, it could be because you're afraid of this connection or afraid of getting hurt by, by them. Or maybe for no reason at all. You're just not a trusting person. Could be a number of reasons. But that's how they see you. Now let's move on over. Why don't we take a look at how you see them? Now, you see them like the Two of Swords. And you also see them like the Page of Cups. The Two of Swords... It tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going at least somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you might want to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these relationships and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your partner. And if you are not, if you're not, it may be time to bring things back into balance. But this requires open communication. So, basically, this Two of Swords, it could be about ignoring some warning signs. That's how you see them. Or it could be making a difficult choice. So, 
when you ignore or you make difficult choices, you choose to block. Or you could be avoiding. Yeah, so that's how you see them. They block and avoid. So, it's with the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is showing the need to play, dream, and have fun. When this card appears, it sometimes means that you're taking yourself far too seriously. you probably heard the saying before. The one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking one's self seriously. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So, you also see them as just wanting to maybe hang out with their friends, family, um, they they want to just have fun, put it that way. This person could be younger than you. Yeah, and you might think that they're kind of immature because it looks like they, they might just hang out a lot or just try to have fun. And then they block you. They don't always answer your calls or they don't always call you right back or text you right back. Yeah, so... I'm picking up, you see them as immature and they just probably want to hang out or just um, not take, they probably not take this connection serious and they block, you see them a lot of times they block you or avoid, avoid you because that's what the Two of Swords is about. So let's take a look at why this is happening. It's happening due to the Emperor in the Strength card. Now the Emperor, it shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. In fact, you should welcome this and that's what you must think when this card appears. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. Now the Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is the time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that this self-control and focus brings. Forge ahead and do what you know is best. Because if you can master yourself, then you should have a little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. So one of the reasons why it's happening is because, because of the emperor. And the emperor is... Um, The emperor has a desire for power. Uh, this this person could be a leader, a boss, really arrogant. And just to sum it up, the emperor does not use his heart. He only uses his head. He doesn't want to come across as vulnerable. So we got somebody in this connection like this. Now, let's with the strength card. The strength card, it's important now for you to make time to meditate, contemplate, spend, spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you have a lot of kids. So, don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear because outward things, they'll be going all right, but what is most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer any fears and control your impulses. And never lose patience with what you're trying to do. So strength, strength card is the other reason why it's happening. A strength card is about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect, acceptance, patience. It's a strong relationship. Okay, so let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. So basically, like I said, the present time, it looks like um, you, Capricorn, you got mixed feelings. And I say you because um, the person is seeing you as stalking them, and they also see you as being stuck in your head. Yeah, so... You got mixed feelings about this person. And 
it could cause conflict. That's what the Five of Swords does. Cause conflict. But, um, yeah, conflict because you, you it looks like you stop them. And then maybe things that you find out causes confusion, so then you're stuck in your head. Now, you see them as just wanting to hang out, maybe with friends and family. They just want to have, it looks like they want to just hang loose. And it looks like they, they do a lot, they do a lot or maybe a little bit of blocking you and avoiding you. Like I said, they don't always text or call you right back. And why it's happening, because uh, you could be dealing with uh, someone like this emperor. They don't really want to use their heart. They only use their head. Uh, yeah, they don't come. They don't want to come across as vulnerable. This person you're dealing with. Yeah. So. So you're probably. You're also. I'm picking up. You're confused on how they feel about you, because the emperor they'd rather have you die wanting to know. You will never figure out how this person feels about you. And if they try to let you know how they feel about you, they'll probably do it with a twist. Whereas you have to figure out, was that, was that a token of love and ex love, or was that something else? You'd have to figure it out. They'll do it with a twist. So, yeah, you can't tell how this person feels about you. But it looks like the King of Pentacles is here for the present time. So it looks like they might want success with you. The King, the King of Pentacles is about having success. They, they could want success with you, but for right now, they just looks like they're more interested in uh, just hanging out and having fun. And um, this connection, it has the potential to be mutually supportive and a strong relationship because we got the strength card here but it looks like it's a work in progress because you got mixed feelings you're running around with swords in your hand stalking and watching them trying to figure them out because they don't express themselves as the emperor they don't show any emotion so it causes you to be stuck in your head and then they like to hang out. They're kind of immature. I'm picking that up because that's what the Page of Cups. When you hear the word page in the tarot, that's student. That's youth. That's immaturity. So they, they, you feel like they're kind of immature. And like I said, they don't, they don't reach out to you when you, when you want to talk. They don't really get back to you right away. And uh, like I said, this person could want success with this connection but it looks like it is no time soon yeah they're too focused on uh, just hanging loose so maybe down the line but uh, cause, and I say down the line because we have the strength card this connection could be a good relationship but it doesn't look like now it could be mutually supportive and strong or that that could be what you're what you're what you were what you were hoping for. So they might want success in this connection, and you might be hoping that it becomes strong. So, but for right now, they just looks like they just want to hang out. And like I said, it can be annoying when they don't really get back to you when you reach out to them. But that's what I got for you, Capricorn. Corn. 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 Corn.